Hi, this is Billy with TheOutdoorsMissouri.com, and I wanted to cover something that I haven't seen a lot on YouTube, which is the trigger group for the Stevens Model 64 22 long rifle. And um, I don't know how well you can see that, but um, this is the trigger group out of the Stevens. Now, if you don't know how to get to this point, uh, you probably shouldn't attempt to take this apart. So what we're going to do today is we're, I'm going to take this apart. I've already taken it apart once. And we're going to take it apart and put it back together. Okay? So I'm not exactly sure. I don't really remember what we're going to need. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this clip here. So what we want to do is we want to remove... There's an E-clip on either side of the trigger. There's an E-clip on the other side of this. You only need to take out one E-clip on each side. So I'm going to take these clips off. And, uh, and this clip as well. And show you what happens, okay? Okay, so that took a little uh, bit of negotiation. So I took the E-clip off of this part right here right by the trigger and we'll just push this through here push that on out okay so that one come out and that's the clip for that one and then this one right here that's to the safety mechanism okay just like that and this pin comes out it drops out your uh, trigger part there and then this little thing is so that this has some spring so you can feel it snap okay so that goes with that and um, let's see we'll take this clip out and it's always best if you use a magnetic type of screwdriver because it holds on to those e-clips so they don't spring off and get lost okay. that pushes right through okay so and then that spring falls out it goes in between here and the housing there and this was a little tricky when I first did it. And what we what I ended up doing was I think I pulled this one out. So push this down. Just kind of negotiate it without messing it up. There it goes. Okay. And then this goes straight out. Okay. So those are all your components there. And that's the trigger assembly. There's this little spring here. Okay. Taking it apart is the easy part. Now, I've had this gun for about seven years, and I've never taken this apart and cleaned it. So I took it apart, and man, there's a bunch of crud just inside of this, this part here. So what I did was I took one of my gun cleaning brushes, just an old one that I don't use anymore, and I actually just kind of use that to clean it out with a little bit of solvent. I use uh, rim oil, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So now we need to just put it back together. This is the not so easy part. So we got our housing here. And uh, we're just going to put this back in there. I'll flip it over first. There we go. All right, that's fine. That's that's perfect. Okay. Now you want to put this spring in. Just kind of squeeze it together and set it in there, and make sure it lines up with that this hole here. Now that spring's going to want to move, so we go ahead and put one of these pins 
just just enough to cover the spring not not to go all the way in there okay and I'll set this clip on here so it can't fall through and we'll put that one on the other side okay and we're going to take this and it sits in there like so and put that part in first shove it all the way back and then it's got some tension there so you're going to draw that back so it sits in just like that okay and then you're going to pick one of the sides to push in okay now every gun's a little different but this one seems to put up a little bit of a fight so all I'm gonna do is line everything up so that the pin can go straight through okay okay so I got that pin pushed through and now we're gonna clip it because we don't want it to fall out okay and it's clipped in there alright and then we're going to put this spring in okay and this can get kind of tricky as well and the best way that I found I could do it was by putting it on that part first and then getting a screwdriver getting it partially on there and getting up behind it and giving it a good push okay so that springs on now and let's flip it around this way then the next thing is we're gonna, whoop, we're gonna pin this up here so that's where your other seat e-clipped pin goes right there yep. There's our little e-clip. Put the e-clip on. Let's see. There it goes. Snaps right on. Okay, and then you're going to put together your uh, safety mechanism. And you have this little, the skinny part goes on the spring. And then the spring and all goes over there. And it's going to set in to the other side. So you're going to kind of work that in until it comes out the other side and you can push on it, okay? And uh, for a lubricant, I like to use uh, heavy silicone. And I just, I really spray the crap out of everything with heavy silicone. Because um, it's, grease and stuff doesn't stick to it like it would, like a rim oil or something like that. So I, I kind of prefer it for that reason. Because I don't like taking my triggers apart all the time and trying to clean them. So we're just going to line this in here. Keep flipping it. Okay. And then this is going to match up with your trigger. It's going to kind of set in there. So we'll work that until it falls into place. There it goes. Okay. So now it's pinned in place. Well, it's not pinned. It's just kind of sitting there because this is going to go... See that back part right there? That, like, stair step part is going to go over that rod there. And that's what stops it from firing. And we're just going to push this all the way home. There we go. Flip it over. Oh, I pushed it out. Okay. And then we're going to replace this clip here.
All right, and then there's a little, you just got to get it on there tight. There it is. So it's all back together now. And everything looks pretty good. Okay. Now this wasn't the hardest trigger, um, but there, you guys, there's there's videos all over the place of Ruger 1022s and and things like that. So I wanted to give a little bit to the Savage because uh, I have one and there's no nothing on it. So uh, thanks for watching and be sure to visit us at www.theoutdoorsmissouri.com. Thanks a lot.